hey guys, uh, just a quick note. Um, as you guys know, my drag, which is sitting right over here, you might not be able to see it. I uh, recently switched it over to 5S, and after my last 5S flight, I went to feel how warm my ESC was, and this is the 60 amp ESC from Hobby King. And I got to reading the label on here, I realized that this is actually only rated for between 2 and 4S. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But, um, of course, I'm running my drag on 5S now. Now, luckily, on my flight, nothing went wrong. The ESC wasn't overly hot or anything like that. But I decided, of course, I need to switch this out. So what I did is I got the 70 amp ESC. That is now rated from 2 to 6S. So um, I also got, along with it, this programming card because I want to put my brake on for, the, um, for my landing so it'll maybe give me a little... Uh, better chance of not chipping my prop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna solder this up real quick and I'll show you guys how to use this. I just programmed the brake on this one so I thought as now that I found out how to use it, I'd go ahead and show you guys how to do that as well. Okay, so guys, this is the programming card. Basically, you're gonna put this jumper on whatever setting that you want. Here we have the timing setting, I have it to auto. Rotation is going to be normal for the motor. I'm going to put the battery protector at the very lowest setting because this is a long range rig. I'd rather have my plane come closer to me than to fail. Um, protect uh, type, I, I want the power to be reduced, not stopped. Now here's the change that I'm making here. I'm putting the brake instead of in the off position, I'm putting it on the on position. The starting, I have it at soft. Um, they have very soft and start ACC. Uh, I think that's probably just immediate um, starting and uh, the battery set to LiPo. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and plug in the motor wires here. And not I'm not gonna really pay attention to the order at this point. And from here, I don't have a connector uh, on this yet, but I will in a moment, but I'm just gonna use some, some uh, lead jumpers here that are gonna um, help me get this done while it's on the bench rather than having to solder on another connector. So I will do that in a minute. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting the servo or the, the, the signal lead uh, going to the ESC right into this position here. It's got, it's got negative, positive, and signal. I don't know why they have a P there, but that's it. So basically when I plug this in or when I get this attached here, you'll hear some beeps from the motor and then we should be uh, up and running with, um, with this. So, so I've got uh, negative or red going to white so I'm going to plug this in here just I don't rec recommend it doing it this way because you could um, short your battery or your motor so I plug that in and I get that positive beep and that should be done I'm going to unplug this I should have brake now from my from my motor here so what we can do is I can plug my, my tester here in and put that down to zero and when I plug this in it'll be in manual mode. I'm gonna actually gonna do this one more time so we can test the motor to see if it has the brake on now. So this is the brand new motor from Hobby King. Bra excuse me, it's a brand new ESC from Hobby, Hobby King. So we go green is gonna be my positive this time and we'll have white as the negative. Just need to make sure nothing touches of course. There we go. I'm gonna plug this in now. Okay, so here I'm gonna throttle up. And when I go down to zero, it should stop. And it does. All right, so my brake is now programmed because I used this little card. So just a quick little tip there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's the first time I've ever, ever dealt with these cards before, um, you know, because I'm still learning, just like you guys. So. Hopefully that helped a few of you guys out and I will talk to you later. Thanks for joining my channel. Bye.